guys welcome back once again in this video we're going to learn how to integrate sqlite into a dotnet maui application using visual studio 2023 so if you're ready to build powerful cross-platform applications with local database storage this is the perfect place to get started with so let's dive in so first of all as you can see before we get started please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have it also make sure you share the video as well so as you can see i've got visual studio 2023 open okay if you don't have it head to the official visual studio website download the latest version and then come back to this video also make sure that you've got github copilot installed for this okay if you don't know how to do it look up on on the channel i've got a video to help you get started with that okay but if you have let's get straight into it so as you can see i've got visual studio open so let's go ahead and create a new project so as you can see here now <clears throat> on the language side here i've selected um, c sharp okay so on the search side you can select .net, you can search .net maui or um or you can just look for it here so what i'm doing is i'm just looking for it so i'm just as you can see it's here but obviously you can type it and search for it okay so we're going to select .net maui app so it's a project for creating a .net maui application for ios android when you are and whatnot okay so let's go ahead and click on the next so here obviously you can configure your project details yeah but we're not going to look too much into that but i'm just going to change this to a sqlite database okay and then click on the next so here obviously you can select what dot net is um you want to use or what is applicable to you yeah so we're just going to select the dot net 9.0 okay and then here include sample content we're not going to look too much into that so i'm just going to remove this as well so let's go ahead and click on the create so now as you can see um, I have, we've got the project created for us okay and if you don't know about dotnet maui is a dot is obviously it's a dotnet multi-platform application ui and it's a cross-platform framework for creating a native mobile and desktop application with c -sharp and xaml so with the dotnet maui you can write your code once and run it on android ios mac os and windows okay so as you can see here now we've got our solution here and we've got a bunch of stuff so obviously look these are the platforms that you can target so as you we've got a folder for android ios Markup list and whatnot, okay. And and as you can see, we've got the usual stuff here, like the the main page dot and then uh, the the, the uh, Maui program .cs, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Chat GPT. So before we jump on to the to the co I mean, co pilot here. Let's have a look at the main page of Samuel quickly. So here, here, as you can see, we've got a, we've got sample file inside here. So let's go ahead and remove this bit, as it's not needed for this video. And then let's open the code behind. And then um, move the, the the click event as well. Okay. So let's remove this click event as it's not needed. Okay. So let's let's go ahead and and, and build it to see if we don't get any errors. So let's build it. So as, <clears throat> as we can see here now, we've got the build completed successfully. So let's go ahead and write some command here on the on the on the 
copilot yeah so here obviously you can select what, what, whatever version that is applicable you can select the, <coughs> the all three mini uh, the gpt4 or the 4.1 so let's select the 4.1 which is the latest okay so let's write uh let's create a sqlite database in so let's select the project this is uh let's select the project let's look for dot project dot c project So let's create a SQLite database in this project, okay? With example, okay, so let's go ahead, press enter. Okay, so let's go ahead quickly. So this is our, this is what we got here. To use SQLite in .NET Maui project, you will need to add a SQLite library. Okay, so the most common choice is the SQLite Net PCL NuGet package. So let's go ahead. So first, yeah, we're going to install this NuGet package. So let's right-click the project. I mean the, uh, and then manage dependency. So here, obviously, let's go to the browse and and type in. Um, SQLite net PCL. Okay, so let's look for it. So it's SQLite dash net dash PCL. So this is what we're going to use. So this is a this is a SQLite is an open source and lightweight library providing easy SQLite database storage for .NET, Mono, and Xamarin applications. Okay. So let's go ahead and download this. So let's um, accept all the necessary um, components that comes with it, or the necessary packages that comes with it. So it, it will take a, a moment for everything to obviously complete. So as you can see, we've got the download and the installation of the of the new package completed okay so let's remove this and then let's scroll down so here <clears throat> since we're going to create a, a class so let's just right click on the on the project and add new class new item a class and we're going to call this class person So here, <clears throat> going to add this code here to the person. So we're going to preview it. So as you can see, it's showing here now. So let's accept it. So this is what we get that has been added. So let's resolve this error. So as you can see, using SQLite. So let's go ahead and use the SQLite. So as you can see, we've got the error disappeared. So let's move on. So you can just have a look at the code and write it yourself. So here, um, so we're using that. So inside the main page of XAML, this is what we're going to add. So let's let's open this main page of XAML.cs. So this is what we're going to add to the project. So as you can see, we've got a bunch of stuff. So let's go ahead and preview it inside and accept it. So let's resolve this. We should, we should get all the errors disappeared. Then let's scroll down. So as you can see here now, this is what we actually get for now. 
Yeah. <clears throat> so let's go ahead here yeah, and run it for the first time before we come back to the next thing. Okay. So I'm just going to pause it while I run it. So let's go ahead and F5 or click on this. So this is what we actually get here. So as you can see here, there's nothing really coming up inside our um, our UI. So let's go, let's close it here. So add the UI. to be able to add new person and they the database list Okay, so let's have a look at what actually comes up. So this is what we get. So update the, the main.saml. So let's update our saml. So let's select our saml. I mean main page.saml, this one. Yeah, and update it. So let's click on the preview. So this is what we've actually added to our main page. Yeah, so as you can see, yeah, it's nothing really fancy so let's go let's go back here and i've also updated the main page of samuel.cs but before we do so yeah let's let's actually build it first so as we build it as we can see yeah, we've got an error here so it's got um the event handler on add person click here so let's go ahead and add this to our main page dot saml dot cs and uh, and the error will go away yeah so let's have a look at what so here let's add the object model so as you can see here now we've got the error disappeared so let's um rebuild it again So now we've got the build succeeded. Yeah. So as you can see here now, we're actually running it on a Windows as a Windows desktop app. But obviously, if you want to target any other platform, you need to expand this. And as you can see here, we've got a bunch of um, frameworks that you can you can use. So as you can see here now, you can you can run it on an Android emulator, iOS, and and whatnot. Yeah. You can also configure your star projects here. But <clears throat> we're going to use it as it is, and we can also have a look at the unsupported devices. So you can change the deployment target as well. Okay. So here, so let's go ahead and run it again on our on our Windows as a Windows desktop app. Okay. So as you can see here now, this is what we get. So we've got a default um, name added. So we can we can add any other name here. And it, it will be added to the to the database, and it will actually appear here. Okay. So as we can see here now, it's not it's not very difficult to get yourself started. Obviously, you can you can, you can type the command and uh, to build more and um, to add more functionalities to the to the project. But we're going to leave it as it is, as I don't want to complicate you. But obviously, you can try and run it also on Android just to see how it how they all come up. Yeah. So I'll leave this video here for now and I might make more videos on this just to explain what we've got now. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do because I've got lots of videos coming up and I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.